All right, so Sierra Nevada Elementary in Oroville, California. Right now it's um, December 27th, uh, 2016. This is the mural I painted, I don't know, a couple years ago. Mm, what I'm here for is because I wanted to talk a little bit about it, you know. Um, this is maybe like the 10th, 9th, 10th, I don't know, uh, mural that I've painted. Um, and, here, hold on, let me see what this button is. I don't know what that is. Okay, so, yeah, the one of the last murals I painted in Butte. So, by this time, there was a lot of drama for myself, you know. Um, so I think people miskewed some of my, the bin actually, I think on purpose, miskewing some of the images on my uh, murals, which is, has kind of pissed me off. And But at the same time, as an artist, you gotta understand that people do do that. So, this mural, to me, represented um, when they asked me to do it, this girl Denise, that lady Denise, um, she asked me to come do a mural, her and the principal. But they were never really nice people. I knew her from Butte College. Um, let's see. So, and there's another one in the back. So these three, um, so it was, a, it was a set. And so I wanted to do different themes on all three. So this one is animals, obviously. Um, I had just come off of doing one for Chico State, which also created controversy. It was more of a um, still Native American theme, but it was a, um, what do you call that? Uh, more environmental um, sustainability and whatnot. So this one though, um, to me was kind of a continuation of that mural but you know obviously for kids as opposed to college kids um, but people all obviously you know for me you know you get it on Facebook or whatever people uh, trying to make meanings to your paintings which is like I said as an artist you know you got to deal with that and accept it but um, but I don't They've been um, doing this video because, you know, I as an artist have never enjoyed that aspect of art. You know, I have I make symbols and or you know create murals for a reason. And when people put negative spin on it, it uh, it takes the whole meaning out of out of context. And and uh, you know, and then I've tried to there's enough yin yang in, in my art. Um, you know, I paint about. I don't just paint happy go lucky stuff. I paint, um, you know, things that are, uh, I won't say dark, but, um, but have meaning that, you know, is maybe more about pain, especially my early works. So this is my newer stuff, and I, you know, I wanted to paint stuff that was more happy. So this is what, this, so. Basically, it's kind of utopia, you know, obviously animals, you got predators and, and nice animals that, you know, obviously everything has to eat something, vegetarians and whatnot, but hanging out together um, and living peacefully. Um, so right here on this side, I created a lion and a duck, um, a bee, a, I don't know, honeybee, I guess. A giraffe, um, three mice, which actually a friend of mine, uh, Julia, she actually did those characters in the blanket. Um, and, you know, we kind of talked about it, and I guess she had some pet rats. So, 
we did that, which was fine. Um, and then, I don't know, a leopard, I think that is. And then a rabbit, white rabbit, which, you know, people, and I guess, you know, when it came to it, it was kind of like um, Alice in Wonderland stuff. And then the butterfly, you know, butterfly. And we got a um, elephant and a turtle. And what is that? Um, snail. Uh, what do you call that? A ladybug. Uh, a hummingbird. A caterpillar. A couple of um, penguins. And then a thunderbird, which actually the school is thunderbirds. And I figured that's probably why they, they had hired me to do this mural. Um, so a lot of people loved it. Everyone walked by, all teachers and students, and while I was working on it, um, I had Julia help me at the beginning of it. Um, she had just had a newborn baby, so it's a little hard for her, but um, I tried to work after school and on weekends, but but it was cool. You know, it was a good experience. I was used to um, painting murals in front of people and and people appreciating them and walking by and and commenting and whatnot. So this experience was pretty much similar. Um, so yeah, so let's start with these guys. So this is, I think these guys got the most controversy, which is you know, pretty upsetting for myself. But um, so let me explain. Some people figured it was like biblical where everybody living in peace, the lamb and the lion, which is more what I was going for. Um, but it was also, um, when I painted them, it was, you know, different animals represent different um, areas in the continents and people and um, races. So um, during this time, a lot of uh, white folks, you know, they kind of were putting their cats on TV or on Facebook and kind of, you know, it was cat versus dog kind of thing or cat. You're either a cat or a dog and all this stuff. But the lion is, you know, more representative of Africa. So I wanted to, um, during this time Obama was president, and uh, and for me I had, um, you know, the king of the jungle, and I've always liked, um, I've always liked, uh, what do you call it, um, cats, big cats. But anyway, so this guy, I put him in top hat, um, reading a book scholar more scholarly lion um, there's also connotations of um, later you know people thinking like Oz and whatnot but for me it was uh, you know obviously uh, the king of the jungle you know, animal being civilized um, reading the book being peaceful and then I was like well let me put another racer. So it's kind of an ode to white folks, but also black folks, where um, they can both identify with, with the animal, I felt. Um, and so I wanted to put some something less powerful, so, um, physically powerful, um, next to it. So first it was going to be a hummingbird, some kind of bird. Um, and then I was like, well, you know, what else? You know, I don't want to use that that character. That was a person. You know, something that's that's a Native American to me. Um, so I decided to put something um, different. So I put a duck, and the picture I found was a yellow duck, which I guess kind of uh, is a baby duck, but at the same time. To me, I was trying to create an adult duck, or you know, uh, two equals, two characters that were um, at, the, at the same level of of understanding, yet um, were different, completely different. One 
and the duck to me was you know it's uh it doesn't really beat people up or nothing or eat um i guess maybe it eats fishes i don't know what it eats but um to me it was representing water and air and land so it can be all three which was a strength you know, even though people see it as weak it's a strength and then I think during this time or whatever, there was also the uh, Gangs of New York. I watched Gangs of New York and I was like, whoa. And the similarities were there where the the natives and the, I don't know, the Irish, they were like the the movie with the, with the, with the two guys, uh, DiCaprio and Daniel, whatever his name is. Um, was also an issue obviously you know during this time there was a lot of stuff about Obama and racism and you know through all my work that kind of carries in there but you know trying to put it in a peaceful way for myself in, in this piece the bumblebee was one of the last ones I created I put it in there just because during this time also um, there was there is a um, then there still is something going on with the bumblebees I had I remember a friend of mine, her husband, her father was a farmer and they were all talking about the bees, you know, issues with the bees and on Facebook and all that stuff like that where they're dying and you know, not not pollinating and whatnot. And that's still going on right now. So that's why I put that and I put the little, him looking at a clock, I was going to put a briefcase in his hand, but, um, but I decided not to just because the time and whatnot. And... So, but he was looking at a watch, and uh, which is they were kind of waiting for the bus. That's kind of what I put him there. I didn't put the bus in there because of time and whatnot. But, um, but yeah. So that's kind of what the bumblebee there. I thought it was a cool character. Let's see. So the giraffe at this time, um, that was a kind of represents the nosy people, the people that are had long necks, and that, to me it was kind of. Uh, I was going through some of that, so I was like, man, what the heck? So I, I painted this character for for that. Um, but I wanted to make it funny and, and kind of kind of comical. So then I needed a more of a feminine character, so I put that in there. And then let's see, there's mice, which I think they might be rats. I don't know, um, with something wanted them to be chilling, eating some cheese, kind of hanging out where the, uh, you know, having a good time, family, but, so, kind of let her have her freedom, and she did that. Um, the butterfly is something I always use in my paintings, um, to represent beauty and change and, and, uh, growth and metamorphosis, obviously, but something where, you know, grew up with butterflies, that's per something personal, where, where butterflies always were special to me. I always seen groups of them growing up in San Martin. Uh, monarchs in the backyard just had hundreds of them every season. So that's something personal. This guy again, for the white folks in Africa and stuff, kind of both these characters I had a friend that, you know, would can, you know use the rabbit as a symbol. Um, but I, so I wanted to make these guys having a good time, kind of teenagers and riding their you know, kind of future stuff too, where, you know, and I figured this is a mural out of school and the boys would be like, Whoa, you know, so. I guess I didn't like the jersey for the purple guy because it's a school, some school, a competitive school or something. I mean, you know, as a joke, they were like, oh, purple water. But yeah, so these guys, that's what these guys are for. Um, some of the connotations were just kind of like back to the future stuff, and, which stemmed off of other murals and people talking about other stuff um so these three guys are the slow guys the slowest ones and i was like you know what i'm gonna you know for the kids that feel that they're you know slow or fat and are overweight or you know ugly or you know less than other these fast ones they can have understand that their strengths and or another strengths you know, like the turtle and the elephant and you know, even the snail, which at the time, Turbo, I think, had came out around that time. So I kind of kind of fit with that. 
Um, the ladybug is all I learned from the Chico State Mural. Well, it was more about luck, or you know, good luck and and uh, money. So that you know, that was a little thing for myself. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm gonna use that symbol and, and uh, make that part of my my little story, where the balloons to me represent like you know, getting lifted up, getting. Um, you know, dreams, you're having your dreams lift you up. And then, and then Hummingbird, also part of that story, but it's more uh, Native American, Mesoamerica stuff where I've learned about that um, animal being part of our our old stories. So I've been using him. Um, the caterpillar, obviously, you know, uh, part of the metamorphosis from you know, being slow to being prosperous, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then the Native American thing was also, I guess, hula hoops. They did a hula hoop thing. So I had a lot of Native American stuff. And I've tried to put that in there. Um, that's kind of what they wanted. The lady that hired me or asked me to do this work, she that was where they were pulling from. So I continued that. Um, the rainbow. There's the rainbow, which I've been using also. It's also part of the story of of uh, Noah, you know, Noah's Ark and whatnot, and part of the Mesoamerican and Native American stories of, of the hummingbird and whatnot. Um, and that's where this guy comes in, the Thunderbird, where the Thunderbird is a Native American idea, symbol, character, folklore story. And, um, and he's chilling, you know, he's, he's kind of checking everything out kind of the yard duty um more stoic and red and so i used him to counterbalance with the lion where the two uh super character you know uh, the characters that that are more about strength and and whatnot um so yeah so that's what i used him to represent the school you know still a male character um, the rainbow I think helps with the, the feminine side and whatnot. And then let's see these these penguins. I wanted to put some baby penguins. I wanted to put a whole talent show, people watching the whole talent show, but I didn't have enough time. Well not enough time, it was just so much work just to doing this. But uh there was a an African American guy younger than me at Chico State had passed away and I guess one of his favorite characters and at this time I was like the day before I was I was pretty sad about it I didn't know him personally but um, but it was pretty tragic so and he was from Oroville so I wanted to add something about that in there um, and that's where the penguins came in and you know obviously you know, trying to get different corners of the world in, in this painting um, so they kind of represent the North and the South Pole kind of stuff. And that is what this painting is. And I'll go to the next one. Um, if you have any questions, feel free. I'm making these videos so that uh, we can have conversation. All right.